Hi, I am George Popovic and uh, I am an Oracle certified expert in JWE6 technologies. This video intends to show just some of my skills with the Java Enterprise technologies. So I will create uh, a little demonstration that will use the following technologies. The Java Persistence API, which is an object relational framework, Enterprise Java Beans, which uh, will help me to create my business logic in a default transactional secure container, the Java APIs for XML-based RESTful web services, also known as JAXA REST, which are becoming fast the company's preferred technology for implementing RESTful web services. So in this demo, I will use Jersey, which is included in the JWE6 standard development kit, and also it's the favorite JAXA REST implementation for many companies. I will use a tool called JAXB, which stands for uh, Java API for XML binding, and this tool is often uh, needed when working with web services, so I will also use it. I will deploy my application uh, using the Glassfish 3.1 application server. For persistence, I will use Oracle 10G database. And uh, finally, and because it's easiness to manage and uh, program with, I decided to use the NetBeans ID 7.1. Here is a brief explanation of what exactly I am going to do in this demonstration. So we know that uh, XML is the standard language for uh, communication of the, over the internet. So I will create a RESTful web service endpoint that will be capable of managing requests and responses from and to different interoperable clients. This web service will be will communicate uh, with the business layer of the application with the final objective of interacting with the database. The role of uh, the EGB technology in this demonstration will be um, to provide a transactional secure uh, environment used for uh, implementing the business logic. So in this demo, I will create an EGB that will act as a crude facade. So the web service will be able to communicate with the database. Uh, JPA technologies here will be used to implement object relational mapping for uh, the application. So the interaction with the database is easier and safer. And finally, the representation uh, of the database tables uh, will, will also be annotated with uh, some JAXB annotation. So the web service will be able to automatically marshal and unmarshal, which is the process of uh, transforming Java objects into XML and uh, XML into Java objects. Now, uh, let's go to the IDE and do the programming. <clears throat> 